Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering our top 10 tips for Microsoft Outlook that can help you get the most out of the software. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first tip that we have for you guys is creating a contact group. And all this means is that if there are several email addresses that you're frequently sending emails to, rather than type them out every time, you can create a group and label it and just send it to that group. Now, in order to get started with this, we're gonna navigate all the way down to the bottom left and click on people. And then towards the top left, we have a button called new contact group. So we'll press that and we can add members. We can choose from contacts or we can add emails. And then you have some information here. So go with a couple of my buddies. And then again, we're clicking add members to add people here. Again, a new email contact. And I'm satisfied with my group. The next thing we wanna do is name this group. All right, and then we can press save and close. And that group is now here. I can send emails to this title and they're both gonna get emails. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is dark mode. If you prefer something darker, you can go back to your file tab right here. So within the file menu, we're gonna scroll down to office account. And here we've got an office background as well as an office theme. So we can change both of these. The dark gray and black ones are gonna be more of that dark mode, but you can choose whichever one is best suited for you. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is utilizing email signatures again within Outlook. So you can set this to be an automatic thing when you reply or create new emails. And if you're a professional using Outlook, you definitely wanna take advantage of this. So in the home tab, we're gonna create a new email. And then towards the middle, we have a button called signature. So we'll click on signatures. And then here we have a little menu where we can create a new one. So I'll click the new button. And then here we can set whether we wanna to attach to new messages and forwards and replies. So I'll select yes for both of those. And then down here is the box where you can actually go ahead and type in your signature and I'm just pasting one that I already have from the past. There we go, I've got it in there and we'll press okay. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is what's called quick parts. So if you have a message or a template of a message that you're sending out pretty frequently, you can create what's called a quick part that will drop in the template and then you can make small adjustments if you need to and send it out. It's a huge time saver if you're sending quotes or just constantly sending somebody a similar or the same message. So to do this, we'll start drafting a new email and I'll put my recipient and subject and then over to the insert tab. And then next I'm going to type out the message that I wanna create as a quick part. All right, so I've got my little message typed up here and I'm just gonna select all of it. And then in the insert tab towards the right-hand side, I'm gonna click on quick parts. And then from here, I'm gonna click on save selection to quick part gallery. And then we're just gonna fill out some basic information and I'm gonna leave the rest default and press okay. So let's say I wanted to paste the same message again. Quick parts, basic quote, all I have to do is click on it and it inserts that entire paragraph. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is what's called quick steps. So similar to quick notes, but this is gonna be an action button that will automatically do a step or a series of steps that I need to be done. So for a good example of this, I can create a new quick step. That's gonna be this middle little box right here in the middle of the home tab. So we'll press create new. And I want this to just be to delete my spam emails. All right, and then the action is gonna be permanently delete message and I'll press finish. Now again, you can add a series of actions if you wanted to get more specific. So just explore that if you have a quick action that you need to create. But I'll press finish. And just to show you guys that it works, I have it right here. I'll press this, continue, and it's gone forever. All right, for the next tip that we have for you guys, if you ever want to turn off your notifications, if they're interrupting your workday, it's fairly simple to do that. We'll click over to file, and then down at the bottom left, we're gonna click options. We'll click down one to mail, and then message arrival. We can check or uncheck anything that we desire, or if you don't want any notifications whatsoever, you can simply just turn all of them off. All right, the next tip that we have for you guys is creating a rule. So I get a ton of emails from the Microsoft Store and I almost never even open these. So if I want, I can automatically have them sent to their own folder that is separate from my inbox. So first I'm gonna right click on my email address and we're gonna press new folder. 
and we'll just title this Microsoft Store. All right, you can see the folder in there, and now I'm gonna go down to one of my emails from Microsoft Store. I'm gonna right click on this, and over rules, we're gonna press create rule. Now we can set our conditions. So I'll select the first one and the bottom one here, because I'm assuming the subject's gonna be different every time. And then we can check move the item to folder. And we're gonna select the folder that we just made called Microsoft Store, and we'll press okay. And we'll press okay. And then here we have a run this rule now on messages already in the current folder. We can also press okay for that. And it just grabbed all of those out of there and they're gonna be in my Microsoft Store folder. For the next tip, we're gonna show you guys how you can easily create a calendar reminder to respond to an email. So we'll drag any email from our inbox here and we'll just drag it down on top of the calendar. And then we can set a date and time of when we want to get reminded on this. And we'll be reminded to go in and take care of whatever business we needed to. The next tip that we have for you guys is flagging emails. So in Outlook, if we flag an email, it's gonna be added to our to-do list. And the to-do list is an easy way to keep everything that needs to get done right in front of you the whole time. So just for a quick example, I'm gonna flag this resume library email. There it is. And then clicking on this to-do list here, we can see everything that I have flagged. All right, the 10th and final tip that we have for you guys today is delay delivery. Now, I think the most practical use for this is catching mistakes before it's too late. So if you realize you forgot something or you made some sort of mistake, can go back and make edits before it's ever even delivered. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna draft a new email and then we're gonna click over to the options tab and here we have a button for delay delivery. All right, so here we have the delivery date and some different options. So we'll leave it as today's date and we'll set the time and we'll press close. So it's gonna delay it to the preferences that I just created. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or video topics that you would like us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.